Hey, welcome to AshleyAllThingsDentistry.com. This is the number 10 apical in, apicolectomy, or tooth number uh, 22. And here I'm just making the, the incisions. This is a, one of the biggest things I learned from Dr. Cross, but he's a manimal. And what he taught me was, in terms of this flap design, right there what I'm doing is sort of a split thickness. Uh, it's going to be intrasulky around the teeth, and to save the, spare the papilla, do a split thickness. And I wanted to, so we'll go intrasulcular here, and the way, the best way he described it for the papillary or even split thickness was just run the blade over at a 45 degree angle and make the mucosa hemorrhage just a little bit. Just enough so you know that you're in. And that, especially under a microscope, and unfortunately we don't have a microscope uh, hookup adapter for the, for the camera, that made a significant difference. So you'll watch here, hopefully I'll do it, do a nice little rounded, 45 degree bevel, there it goes like that, boom. Nice and light, just to make the mucosa hemorrhage and then intracellular. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to, to confirm my incisions and through that uh, nice little dainty little incision in the papilla, I'm gonna go right to bone. Almost like an intracellular, you can see it right there, boom. And that makes it a much, the significance of that is when we're going to suture, reapproximate and suture the tissue down. So here I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to bone intracellular again. And when you go to suture, especially with the microscope, it's crazy. 6-0 Gore-Tex, um, the, the suturing is amazing. So simple. Uh, typically with microsurgery, I'm, I'm waiting for them to go nano. I'm not sure, I can't remember what's under now. But, uh, use typically 7080 sutures, but uh, we only have 60. And that really, without with very little tension, um, it sutures like a dream. So here's here's where I'm, I'm going to make only one vertical releasing incision on this whole surgery, and I'm make a large uh, envelope. And the reason why we did that is it didn't want to uh, interfere with the phenome. Phenol attachment between the uh, central sires.